NPH. Leaders in Canadian basketball. This is Jovan for North Pole Hoops, and I'm here with the tallest man in the room, Marshall Plumlee, who is going to Duke in the fall. First off, before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about the dunk contest yesterday for the McDonald's skills competition. A lot of people in the stands felt you won the game and you threw down some, you know, jaw-dropping dunks. What do you have to say about not winning or how that all went down? Uh, you know, it's just something you go out there and you have fun. It's a tremendous experience, something I won't forget. You know, you wish you could have won, but at the same time, you know, you can't pass up having fun like that. The crowd was great. My teammate support was awesome. So when I was watching you throw down a few dunks, you had a bit of style with that. You wouldn't just throw it down. You would kind of do that, you know, that glide with the hair. Where does that come from? Because when I watch your brothers play at Duke, they're more, they look like they're old school. They don't have a lot of style when they play. They're just nitty gritty, whereas you kind of got that swagger going. Where does that come from? Uh, you know, I, I didn't come into this unprepared. You know, I looked at some of the great dunk competitions, and you got to have a little bit of something extra, to, you know, to get the crowd on your side. And uh, obviously, I don't think I had enough to pull it out in the dunk contest, but it's still fun, you know, to have a little bit of swagger. Nice, nice. So, transitioning now to talking about Duke, obviously both of your brothers play there, and anybody knows that you're going as well, because every time they show a Duke game, you're on the camera, and they always talk about you, Dick Vitale screaming your name. <laughs> what can Duke Nation expect from you next year, coming in as a freshman, with that swagger, with the size, with the skill that you bring, and what do you look to do to assert yourself and bring Duke back to a national championship? Uh, I'm just going to come in ready to work and do whatever they need me to do. Uh, I'm going to try to contribute, you know, with my size and being active, you know, moving my feet, you know, whatever they need me to do. But I'm just ready to be a part of a team, something bigger than myself, and win some games. When you and your brothers get together, who's the best basketball player out of the three of you? Be honest. You don't have to be humble. Well, it, it's tough. I can tell you it's not me. Not yet. I got a lot of work to do. But Miles and Mason, you know, both very talented. And I feel like they bring different stuff to the table. And I couldn't be more excited for both of them. I feel like they're having great careers. What about the NBA? Do you see all three of you in the NBA at some point down the road? And if so, are you going to pull a LeBron and D-Wade and Bosh and get together? <laughs> uh, that's the dream. And being on the same team, man, that's just... I'll cross my fingers, we'll see how it goes. NPH Leaders in Canadian Basketball